surrender all to Him I freely give. I will ever love and trust Him in His presence daily, daily. Savior, I surrender all. all to Jesus, I surrender, Lord. I give myself to Thee. Fill Sings fall on me. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to So I Surrender All, what a great song. And there's so much freedom when we surrender to God. But the truth is, along with the freedom, there's a cost to surrender. And every time I sing that song, it's more of a hope and an aspiration than something I believe to be fully true. Because I know there's areas of my life that I've not fully surrendered. I may not be aware of those things right now, but man, I know that I'm someone who likes to control things. And so there's times where God nudges in certain areas and said, hey, you got to surrender more of this and surrender part of this. And that's part of just walking in relationship with God. But again, surrender comes with a cost, the cost of control, and it takes a level of humility to surrender to anybody, especially to God. Even though we know there's freedom in it, even though we know he knows better, um, it takes a level of humility. When it comes to humility, there's one side of you can choose to humble yourself or you can be humbled by someone or by a situation. We've all probably experienced being humbled. Recently, right now for me, I'm actually training for a race and I run this distance once before and I'm trying to shave off a little bit of time, like it might be minutes or 10 minutes, that would be, that would be great. Um, but I have a friend who is twice as fast as me. He's trained for years and there's no way I will ever catch him. And so he's always gonna be half the amount of time that I am to run this distance. And the thing is, he could, I'm very humbled by him and he could kind of lord that over me and, and rub it in, but he is an incredibly humble person. And so he's always encouraging me, cheering me on, giving me advice. He comes to me humbly. And so it creates a relationship between us. And this is what God is like. So I wanna to read to you Matthew 11, what Jesus says about himself. The God of the universe, the creator, all powerful, all holy, is perfect. He says, here's what he says. He says, come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So God comes to us humbly and invites us into relationship and allows us to choose to humble ourselves rather than forcefully being humbled. And, and then we have the time and the opportunity to do that as we live life today. So I encourage you to do that. I'm going to do that today. Let's talk to God together uh, as he invites us in. So Father, 
Thank you so much for your posture, your love for us, your invitation to relationship, to learn from you, that you are gentle and lowly, and that you don't forcefully humble us, God, but you allow us to come to you and find freedom and surrender in choosing humility. So we do that today, God. I pray if there's any areas of my life that I'm trying to control, God, I pray that you'd show those to me. Allow me to surrender. Give me the strength to surrender those to you um, and find humility and find freedom in relationship with you, God. Thank you for all that you are. Thank you for Jesus and your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.